Hello friends, today we are going to start our second tutorial series on this channel on Java projects, which is Java serialization. In the first tutorial series, we have already covered dynamic programming with 21 plus 5 problems. And now I'm going to switch from data structures and algorithms projects to Java topics and projects. And that's why I have chosen to start with Java serialization. I have chosen Java serialization because it actually forms the basis for uh, the network programming and it's also the basis for Hibernate, RMI, Remote Method Invocation, JPA, that is Java Persistence API, and JMS, and JMS uh, which is Java Messaging Service Technologies. Although in the, in the new projects, we should never use Java serialization because it's very error prone. And uh, that's the reason that, uh, but still we need to understand it so that we, we should know that what are the pitfalls for Java serialization and why should we use the other uh, APIs like uh, Google protocol buffers, which I will I'll cover next after we cover, understand the basics of Java serialization. So in the next video, uh, I, will sh I will show the table of contents that we are going to cover in this topic. So stay tuned.